<laughs> mm. Hey, guys, I have come to rant. I have come to rant because, Makachoko, I am not understanding myself again. My heart is paining me. My ear is paining me. My blood is not even pumping right. How am I going to cope like this? Guys, the prices of things in Nigeria right now is alarmingly expensive. I'm talking three or more times their prices. There are no jobs. And even for the jobs that are available, there is nothing like an increase. Nigerians will complain, cry, lament, and adapt to it. Nigerians will complain, cry, lament, and adapt to it. And keep in mind that these are not lazy Nigerians. These are hardworking Nigerians. Someone like me. My Odogo has not come yet. By Odogo, I mean my future husband. I am single. And I am working hard. But I cannot even live a soft girl like Makachuku because the prices of things, they're on my cha cha. It is not. Guys, I'm an actor. Sometimes I'm shooting two movies at the same time, running up and down like a little thief. When they need me here, I'm on this set. When they need me on that set, I'm on this set. Because why? A girl is trying to make earns meet. Because I'm taking care of myself. Since my Odogu, whom I am still praying for, I'm patient for whenever he's going to come. So that when he comes, he should come and rescue me because at this rate, my blood may just run dry before he comes. But God will not allow it. So please, this rant is a very necessary rant. I know you people have never seen me like this. Me too. I have not seen myself the way I'm seeing myself lately. A choke. Guys, there is nothing that is functionable in this country that you can look back at and say, okay, this is the one giving me joy. Something as little as light, self, is luxury. We don't always have light. In a time whereby the world has gone digital, digital enough for you to make money from the four walls of your house, if there is constant light, you can be productive in so many ways. But there's no light. And when I'm saying there is hardly light. Please don't think I live in the slums. I live in a residential area. I live in Jerry, a place whereby rents are three or four times the prices of an actual rent. And I am not paying that kind of rent because I have all the money. I was looking for comfort, but I am not seeing the comfort again. I am not seeing the comfort. It choke. It, oh my God. It's just like, it started like a joke. It started like a joke. Slowly but surely. The prices kept going up and up and up and up and we are choking. Nigerians are living in survival mood. We are not flourishing. We are surviving. My good, like, I wonder how Nigerians are even surviving. When you see Nigerians acting mad, please don't think they are. The tension of this country is enough to make you go mad. What am I going to talk about? Is it security? You hardly have that. Is it jobs? You hardly have that. A country, oh my God, oh my God. Ah, ja, 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 ja. Please, I want you to tell me the situation of your own country. Hmm? Because as it be now, it be like, say, this Nollywood of mine that I love so much, I'm going to carry like a small diamond and put it in my pocket to a loop to a country whereby things are more affordable, whereby I can work and actually afford certain things. Because it be like, say, I cannot live soft girl life for this ninja. Not because I am lazy, but because the country is strategically placed in such a way that your hard work is not enough. This country will frustrate you and choke you and ask you if you are mad. Even when they are the ones making you mad. Hmm? Hmm? My mother is from Cameroon. I know that a lot of things in Cameroon is not okay, but they have constant lights. Even though some of them complain online that they take light every now and then. Do you people know what it is to go for two weeks without seeing lights? I need for them to flash it and take it back. It gets that bad sometimes. That's why when you see a Nigerian outside the country, we're always primitive. When they bring light, we jog, we dance for ordinary lights because we are not used to it. Cha -cha. Mm hmm You're talking about generator. Go and buy fuel. Fuel keeps increasing in price. So even when you have generator, you will know how much you're spending for fuel. Should we talk about the noise and discomfort having a generator comes with? How do you expect Nigerians to not be mad? Hmm? Let me show you some little things I bought. Yeah. 
You see these carrots? I want you to please, I'm not going to tell you the price though. I want you to tell me how much you think this carrot will cost in your country or in your own area. So that I will know which country I want to elope to. Hmm? Please, look at it. You're seeing it clearly, Abby. Odima. This pineapple, I want you to tell me how much you think it will cost in your country or in your area. Hmm? I hope you can see it clearly. Wow. And this little cute purple right here, I want you to tell me how much you think it will cost in your area. I say, let me do small carrot juice and pineapple juice. It could be like, see, a pot of soup with all the obstacles on the surface of this earth. I won't put inside that soup by obstacle. I'm talking about proteins, cow hair, cow tail, um, dry fish, all that stuff. So we Nigerians, sometimes we call it obstacles in the soup. So when I say obstacle, it can't be like, say, I need to spend heaven and X to enjoy small carrot juice. I know you people have never seen me like this. Me too, I'm not used to seeing myself like this. But when it choke, it choke. And I also want to use this opportunity to say, please, if you live outside the country and you happen to have relatives in Nigeria, when they keep disturbing you for money, I know, I know, I mean, I know that we Africans back home some of us think that you guys have brought just have a tree at the back of your house vomiting money to you at your will i know some of us you know we don't say that outrightly but the way we make demands makes it seem like maybe we assume you have that kind of tree behind your house giving you money i know but trust me away from that i know there are such people but we still have people like me that are working hard but your hard work can never be enough so please, when some of these relatives of yours ask you for money, it's not that they are lazy. It is because this country, <laughs> this country, when I talk like this, my mom would say, hey, I should relocate to the U.S. because she wants me to come and live in U.S. I like Africa. Must we all live Africa? I like Africa. And even if I go to the U.S., I still have relatives back here that will be texting me every time they need money. These days, somebody is writing or calling me. I'm scared that they want to ask me for money. Not because I'm greedy, but because I don't have. A cherubego. I don't have it. Makachuku. See where I am. If I tell you guys how much my rent is, you will look at me again. But uh, hey, I was looking for comfort. Because I was working the money. Okay, comfort. It's not there. Hmm. It's all right. You people should tell me the price this thing is in your area. Because this thing is like... This thing did not pepper me the way it did when I bought it yesterday. It's just now that I want to make this juice. Nepa even took the light. And I'll say, oh, make I even come and rant. And you people should console me too. Because I am in pains, my brothers and sisters. I am in pains. This is not the time for me to come and act superstar actress online. Mm -mm. I am in pains. Mm? So tell me how much this carrot will be in your area. Mm? Let me know where to relocate to if need be. Of course, I'll carry Nollywood along because I cannot come and give up on my acting dream. Tell me how much this pineapple will cost. Biko. I'm still waiting. Oh, so bad. Girl. And as for this cute purple that is consoling me because even though it's very expensive, it is very cute. I want to know how much these things will cost in your area without the prices of these things, I would say, influencing your own. Okay, so I want to know their prices. I'll probably do another video telling you guys the prices of these things. But I want to know how much this thing will cost in your area. All these things. How much they will cost in your area. How much they will cost in your area if you're in Nigeria. Okay. And if you're not in Nigeria, how much will it cost in your country? Make we know where we want to relocate. Go. Because it be like saying Nigerians need to now become citizens of other countries so that we'll have peace. It's all right. I love you too. And thank you for listening to my rants. I am in pain. Please send me consolation. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Take care.